so we got Tristan in the back freaking sleeping. Bum. And uh, the funnier part is I dropped my keys to like my apartment, <laughs> my, my parents' place, and uh, to the gate, to the track in my freaking driveway last night before I left to uh, oh, come cool. see Brian and Tristan and grab them. So they're eight and a half hours up there. We're going to my cousin's um, office right now, and luckily, thank goodness, shout out to Chris, man. He has a spare set, so it sucks, but it's all good. Only a 30 minute drive there and back, so eight and a half hour trip turned into uh, nine ten? and a half or 10. ten. <laughs> Bro, it looks good. Rained a bunch, so it's gonna be great for building. We'll see how uh, everything kind of like deteriorated and whatnot from the rain, so. It's cool we could see through here now. In the summer, we couldn't. All right, so we're going to check out the track right now, see how it shaped up and, uh, you know, drainage, all that. And uh, then we have a machine coming here uh, around noonish, so that'll be cool. Got a skid steer with tracks, and uh, we all kind of, you know, pitched in on it. And then uh, we're just going to get some grooming in, build a couple more sections, some rhythms and stuff, and then uh, hopefully. It gets here early enough to have a nice session tomorrow, but uh, if not, then, or today, sorry. If not, then tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll have a lot of fun. Dirt looks really good. A lot, a lot of moisture in it. So that's awesome. It's beautiful, beautiful North Carolina clay. You can see, look at that. We'll go out there, check out the 85 foot double, see if that rutted out a little bit, but uh, if it did, it's all good couple uh just like little you know branches and or you know pieces of stumps we got to get out here and then just a couple places but i was actually surprised this stayed really good the single tracked it in a lot with the dozer last time and then uh also the takeoff the takeoff actually looks you know fairly good from here dude the moisture is perfect dude, the back side of that landing is so rain rutted oh is it well, at least we got a machine. So we're gonna have to get this all good. I cased that last time. <laughs> Little rain ride over there. Then we have a bunch of dirt right there to work with, so that'll be awesome. Gonna get all ruddy in here. Oh my goodness, look at this dirt, guys. It's all sandy in here. Okay, let me, let me give him a, give him a sample. Give him a sample. Solid. Patch this up a little bit down here. Maybe add a little bit of height to it. Who knows? So, it'd be cool. What do you think, man? Track looks good, right? It's staying minty. Stayed real nice. This is a little rain rutted, but like, honestly, there's nothing you can't ride. Like, it's all rideable. Just the fact that it's not that great. Shape up. Yeah, it just needs a shape up. A little <laughs> grooming. Quick yeah, just a quick, like, once over, but. Then we'll take like the big pile over there, do some things with that. Like over here we have a whole area. I mean, I'd say that's like an acre between over here and there. That's gotta be an acre. For sure. So we got all that to build, you know, a little pit bike course. We won't do much to it yet because, you know, we wanna have fun this weekend and not just uh, spend it, you know, spending money on fuel and, you know, working the whole time. But uh, yeah, touch up sections, make it fun and probably do like a BMX jump or whatnot. Build a little step up on here make this deck bigger because casing this sucks and I mean there's like three feet up here so <laughs> you got a little tap like every time at least his ass crack wasn't out my daddy bought me an 85 in 2007 <laughs> motherfucker sold it to me with no air filter in it check your air filters kids Is that as, as you can Honda? see it's not necessary at the moment. You got no, you really got no air filter. It's he not he really has no air filter in that thing. I, I didn't know we were riding that with no air filter. What happens is the clay gets into the motor and makes it go faster. It gets the valve sealed better. You get that grit in your cylinder wall. And once the cylinder walls are all scored up and fucked, that's when you know it's time to get something that's not a 2009 CRF 70. It's not cool. It's kind of cool. 
Ooh, oh, messed it up. We got some shenanigans going on. Yeah, some shenanigans going on out here. Went to Walmart, then we went to a gun store um, down the road. But uh, yeah, Tristan got a pretty cool BB gun. Uh, this thing looks like definitely really tactical. Just waiting for, yeah, that thing's sick. So yeah, we're just waiting for um, basically the delivery guys to come. It's like 2.30, 2.45 right now. They said between 12 and five o'clock, but I don't know why you would order a machine on a Friday and then they would get it to you, you know, all the way at the end of the, end of the day, but it's all good. So we have uh, tomorrow and then Sunday as well. And then, uh, yeah, we could just start building a little bit of stuff tonight, have some fun, maybe get a little bit of riding in, who knows. Oh, we weren't able to get the uh, just the regular bucket on it, only the tooth bucket. Yeah, that one comes off. You can take the tooth bar off. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's even yeah, better. Yeah, just these two bolts on each side. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll probably pop it off. You don't have to have the tools on you to do that. We don't, I don't. have. To. We might. We might have big enough ones. What does this have for uh, horsepower? You said again, like 66, 67, 69, 69, 69, 6.9 horsepower to the to the tracks. <laughs> It's on a dime. Drive around over there, Tristan. Right over here, we made a little hip. We got a hip right here, so it's pretty cool. Dialed it in, and uh, look what we found, actually. This is pretty sick, this freaking hole. So this is one of the holes that we buried, I guess. Uh, you can see Tristan being loud. <laughs> but yeah, no, you can see it's like really like bowed in here. Um, Obviously the ground settled a lot and whatnot from the all the debris in there and shit like that But yeah, that's really cool. So like um, I think tomorrow morning we're just that's our bathroom hole because we're just gonna you know stay here So grab the shovel No dig no ride But these bars are getting a little whiskey. We have to tighten up your clamps tomorrow, man. No car? No problem. <laughs> you got a little happy out there. A little bit, a little swirly. Uh, we need light, man. We need light. Yeah, we I think do. we're gonna wrap it up and uh, get back at back <laughs> at it in the morning, Don't right? Kind of killed my ankles. Let's do it in the morning. So uh, first source equipment rentals. Hooking us up with this awesome bobcat. We're probably gonna take these stupid teeth off because we need a flat blade. And uh, yeah, boys, let's have a good night. Yee! We'll get after it in the morning. Bites run best with no car. We got the living quarters. Brian just hopped in the bed. Tristan right there on the floor all night. And uh, Brian was across the seat before, but we're good. Sunrise soon. All right, getting some work done here. Muddy as heck out there. Got a lot of rain last night, but uh, actually dug these teeth into the dirt and just kind of uh, backbladed it, ripped it up a bit. I mean, these are like six inches long, so just kind of aerating the dirt out there, or whatever you call it, and uh, hopefully today will be really good. It's windy out right now, so I think that'll die down in the afternoon, uh, hopefully. And then, yeah, we'll have a really fun session. Probably build uh, a little bit of the pit bike track today as well. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be showing you guys like the progress with the rhythms and uh, just getting all the dirt over to the big tabletop. So that's gonna be like the plunge replica kind of ish uh, at E-Town. I don't know if it'll be as tall yet, but yeah, we'll try to get it there. Let's wake these guys up. They're still freaking sleeping. What the hell are you guys doing? Top of the morning, you got a piss jug, bud. Or is that whiskey? No, it's a piss jug. Dude, what? No way. No way. It's like eight o'clock, boys. I've been out there working for hours. Shut the fucking door. <laughs> That's actually a BB, a BB gun. He uh, he didn't just point a real gun at me, so. All right, so we're out here, uh, just getting a couple things done. Doing this single right here. Uh, so that's the right-hander. 
right there. That'll be a single corner left and then into the bigger section where the 85 footer is down there. And then uh, check out this straightaway. Straight away over there, we'll uh, look at it right now. Yeah, we'll see um, the rhythm that we're gonna put on it. I don't know yet what like option it's gonna be, or you know, um, option lane I should say if we're gonna have one, or probably not. Just like a double double section where you could like triple maybe step on step off something like that. Who knows? Okay, so this is the straightaway right now. As you can see, really nothing at all. Just made a couple, uh, you know, little humps, little mounds just to uh, mark where I want to put, uh, you know, rhythms, jumps. So yeah, we'll scrape some dirt from over there, or scoop some dirt, I should say, nice clay, and then we'll put it down, because this is basically like, uh, like a foot, six inch base, and then it's all clay, the whole property, like that stuff. So yeah, let's get to work. So Sal's working on the machine, we're gonna go get gas and lunch. I'm thinking Highway 55, burgers and fries. Highway 55, burgers and fries. It's right, that name just, it just rolls off the top. That's it. Or should we go fucking, excuse my French, or like real downtown and get barbecue. Oh. I could fuck up a brisket. <laughs> All right, dude, let's go. That happened with the boots. Yeah, uh-huh. Boots. 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 When is Brian and I'm washed up? Look who's a dirt bike rider again and not a machine operator. Machine operator all day. Hey, buddy. Dude, the track needed so much work. Squeeze Does it look so fresh? Like, like <laughs> pot one. Still looks good. Thanks, man. The gear looks good. Wicked stuff always looks good, but I don't look good. It happens when you eat the Outback every day. Every day, eat Outback and drink beer like every day for like a year. So, no eating and no drinking. <laughs> well, Eating. Well, like eat, but <laughs> very obviously don't eat. drink, but eat food that isn't horrible for you. These things aren't even button. It's pretty. It's pretty comical. I mean, I'm not. I'm not fat by no means, but like I got some chunk going on. Someone said it in one of my videos last time. I was like, oh damn. Even my viewers know. I mean, it's not hard to tell. I gained 30 pounds. If anyone wants to know, um, yeah. So chunk of chunk of palooza. Let's get on Tinder. You just like. Get the most redneck broads and just say this is, take the sticker off for a source, screw them and just say it's ours. Dude, property and machinery get the girls getting wild. Is that what women are impressed by, property and machinery? I think they yeah, would. They are. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. North Carolina, do you uh, do you like property and machinery? Uh, find a we don't actually it. own any of it, but we'll pretend we do for ass. Give you guys a lot here.
caught my ankle freaking OJ in that. I was like, oh! Yeah, we heard you. I just bent it back with a motherfucker. Well, here's Brian's first ride ever on a 450. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah. That was super fun, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't looking. Jumper. He'll do it again. Brian, get oh my god. Yo, there's caught. There's a thing called a clutch. You need to use it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You good? Hey, remember when you said you wanted to snap your back fender off? I think I did. Yeah, the dirt's tacky. No. Nope. Fender's connected. Fender's on, mm -hmm. right? Yo. You fucked it up bad, didn't you? No, not at all. I bet the bars are a little tweaked, but other than that, should be good. Probably just hit them back. I don't even think that. I'm just glad you're good, dude. You hit the tacky, I'm tacky dirt. Well, 60 horsepower will do that to you, dude. Yeah, there was a six or nine or 69% yeah, mean, chance of that happening. That, nine to that six. I should have done a sight lap. Uh, Wasn't that what you were doing? I thought that's what you were doing. <laughs> So finish your sight lap if it's fine. But he's keeping on trying, like that's the craziest yeah, thing. Yeah, he's just like not phased. This is day one on a 450, like I've never seen somebody what go- What other bike is he rope? Oh shit, this is fucking steep. I let him ride my 08 KX 450 that I was selling down the road. Oh, down and the like, road. Yeah, he did a wheelie on it, almost looped the bitch out. Over that. I was oh, oh. Oh, oh my god, dude, I'm still scared. Why am I scared? Watching someone ride a dirt bike. Oh, he's got to really watch out over the next one. Fuck, man. Yeah. Coming in hot through the clay. I don't think he Coming is. Coming in hot through the clay. <laughs> hey, yo, doctor, here's another and it's flat, watch the sniper Time to pay the paper And let that real shit provoke So you a In Crocs, motherfucker Sport mode Get you some You said you never rode bikes before? I thought you guys made it seem like you did No, 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 no. Brian rides pit bikes Brian spent the most mm -hmm. Brian's probably got about 50 hours in the 70s Honestly Dude, he just jumped that though. He did just jump that. Woo! He, he gave a little goose punch, punch. Alright, we're going into the section where he crashed. Let's see, can we redeem it? This is supposed to be a sight lap, so. <laughs> this is. This is first time on a 450. Now. How intimidating do you think this is? On this, like, track that's on a really six, deep. On a 60 oh, horsepower. dude, he's gonna go over this? Oh my god, he's nuts. <laughs> I no, thought he was gonna. Yo, so Brian, how was that 450? Too much power. Too much power, yeah. The fact that people race those, like... Tristan, what, what are your, uh... What's that? It's the a fucking 450, what did you want nah, from the it? the fact that people race those on a regular basis... It's crazy, right? Fucking nutty. Okay, we just pulled up to Hooters now. Uh, the boys, boys saw uh, Golden Corral they wanted to go to, but they said, let's go to Hooters instead, so... Hey Ooh. guys, I got new shoes. Um, Sorry to interrupt this whole thing, but Sal, you bought a pack of socks at Walmart before, and um, <laughs> oh my goodness! I rocked. Crocs. Take them, dude. Take them. Take them. Thanks, man. Let's get.
Brian. That was the drive down, we saw your snaps. I got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody said no yet. Let's fill her up. Yeah, dude, fill her up like a sperm bank. <laughs> 